Kherson direction, squeezing out the Ukrainian armed forces from Peschanivka and Poima. Situation as of October 18, 2023. Yesterday, by nightfall, after the passage of assault groups 35 and 36 infantry regiments, Russian troops launched an attack on a few concentration areas. Both the advance groups and those in reserve at the railway bridge came under fire. As a result, the AFU suffered heavy losses and lost their combat potential. About 30 people received varying degrees of injury and retreated back to the bridge, where they took shelter while awaiting evacuation. But the Russian armed forces continued to strike on the opposite side of the Dnieper, hitting the battalions of the 36th Infantry Brigade that were preparing to cross the river with two missiles from the Iskander Otiarke. Despite requests from the advanced groups of the Ukrainian armed forces, the evacuation was never carried out. At the moment, one of the sabotage groups with a flamethrower remaining in Peschanovka has been tasked with diverting the attention of Russian troops on the southern outskirts of the village. If successful, a reserve will be deployed to clear the settlement and consolidate in the surrounding area. At the same time, in the evening and at night the transfer of units from the Normandy Tactical Group continued from Tyjinka to Frolov Island to strike the positions of the Russian armed forces in Krinky simultaneously with the attack on Peschanovka. Now the situation has stabilized thanks to massive shelling of both the forward and rear lines of the Ukrainian Navy. However, it is still a long way to completely suppress the AFU, since there are reserves and no one has cancelled plans for an offensive in the Kherson region. Missile Strike of the Ukrainian Armed Forces on Sevastopol Around 1700 hours on October 18, Ukrainian formations again tried to attack Sevastopol. Two Grom-2 operational tactical missiles were fired from the vicinity of Belgorod Nestrovsky. One missile fell near the Black Sea Fleet's repair base in Inkerman and the second in the Korobelnaya wall area on the northern side of Sevastopol. According to preliminary data, there is no significant damage to the infrastructure. Judging by the geography of the missile fall, the target was again the ships of the Black Sea Fleet and the infrastructure of the Russian fleet in Sevastopol. The latest attacks by the Ukrainian armed forces on the peninsula were, in one way or another, aimed at neutralizing the combat potential of the Russian Navy in the Black Sea. And the recent attack once again confirms this. Particular attention of the authorities of the peninsula should be paid to the actions of pro-Ukrainian residents of Crimea, who deliberately whipped up panic in Sevastopol chat rooms. Today anomalous activity of NATO aviation near Crimea. At the moment, 150 kilometers from the coast of Crimea there are four NATO reconnaissance aircraft, a high-altitude unmanned RQ-4 Global Hawk, a Bombardier Challenger 650 Artemis electronic reconnaissance aircraft, as well as two P-8A Poseidon anti-submarine aircraft of the U.S. Navy. Such a composition of aircraft is rarely recorded off the coast of Crimea. The last time four aircraft or more were in the Black Sea was several years ago. Where did the Ukrainian armed forces launch Atikms in Berdyansk? Following yesterday's strike, Ukrainian Special Operations Forces released footage of Atikms missiles being fired from a HIMARS MLRS. The operation in the MTR of Ukraine was called Dragonfly. In the footage you can see the output of four standard rockets. They can be easily identified by the characteristic white contrail, as well as two Atikms black smoke. Rybar and team, thanks to the help of subscribers who reported the attackums flight area, determined the exact position from which the Ukrainian armed forces launched missiles at the Russian airfield. The HIMARS MLRS installation was located in the vicinity of Yablanovka in the southeast of the Dnepropetrovsk region, 150 kilometers from Berdyansk. Near this area there is a training ground for the DSHV and MTR of Ukraine in Pokrovsky. After the strike, the Ukrainian armed forces were guaranteed to withdraw the MLRS to the rear to prevent detection. But it should be remembered that the Americans transferred Atikms Block 1 missiles to the Ukrainian armed forces, the range of which does not exceed 165 kilometers. And you need to look for them approximately within this radius, not far from convenient logistics junctions.